In Russian Rostov, there was interesting cargo. Damaged U.S. Bradleys. The suspect in the terrorist attack at Crocus was brought in to participate in the investigation. He uses a wheelchair. A Czech-led initiative had concluded contracts for one million artillery shells for Ukraine, with shipments expected already in April. The Italian newspaper Corriere della Sera reported on March 28th, citing undisclosed sources. The claim cannot be independently verified, as Prague made no public announcement. Czech President Peter Pavel said in February that Czechia had identified 500,155 mm shells and 300,122 mm shells outside of Europe that could be bought and sent to Ukraine after the necessary funds were allocated to the initiative. Corriere della Sera wrote that in addition to the 800,000 shells, Czech officials found 200,000 more rounds to be purchased for Ukraine. It remains unclear from which countries the ammunition is sourced. The newspaper said that the estimated cost of the contracts amounted to $1.9 billion. A number of states have thrown their support behind the initiative, including Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany, Sweden, Canada, Poland, France, and others, with only some of them revealing the size of their contributions. Czech Foreign Minister Jan Lepavsky told Bloomberg earlier this week that the initiative can go much further than the initially announced number, possibly supplying as many as 1.5 million shells. There has been some confusion regarding the initiative in the past. Pavel announced already on March 7th that all the necessary funds for 800,000 shells had been collected. Other Czech officials later corrected his statement, saying that the purchase of only 300,000 shells had been secured while the search for further financing was ongoing. Ukraine has been facing severe ammunition shortages in recent months, contributing to the loss of a key frontline city of Avdiivka in February. The EU has delivered 500,000 shells to Ukraine by March, half of the original pledge number, promising to supply the rest by the end of 2024. The U.S. provided some artillery rounds in its recent $300 million defense package, but additional aid from Washington is effectively blocked as a $60 billion aid bill remains stuck in Congress. We have made clear that the U.S. is not going to send any troops to Ukraine. I should add that Macron is a long-term ally, and we work productively in terms of aid to Ukraine," U.S. State Department Representative Matthew Miller said. In, in detail, but of course we have made clear that the United States is not going to send any uh, troops to Ukraine. And finally on, on Russia, I know I am eating a dead horse. And I should here. add that of course that President Macron is a long time, uh, uh, the head of a long-time ally of the United States. We work productively with him uh, on a number of matters, including support for Ukraine. So, on that point, is it about the U.S. objecting uh, sending American soldiers to, you, to to Ukraine, or are you objecting? I don't even know what we're, I, I, so altogether? I haven't read the report you're talking about. I don't know who the I'm guessing anonymous officials quoted. Intelligence points to Yar's ICBM launchers camouflaged in Irkutsk's forests near Mongolia.
Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you wanna support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.